today we are going to change the view for this lady using the free Snapseed app. We are going to start with some basic tuning in TuneImage. Here in the menu, first I am going to reduce the highlights to get more details on the red dress. Also increasing the shadows to make the darker parts more brighter. And also reducing the brightness a bit. Using double exposure, I'm going to add this image of mountain with a red sky. Moving the image a tad bit down and setting the opacity to 100. Now going to the masking screen. Tapping on the stacks icon, view edits, double exposure and brush. Here with the double exposure effect enabled and the brush value set at 0, I'm going to brush out the lower part to reveal the subject underneath. Just making a soft mask around the lady. I'm gonna add another image with dark sky using double exposure. Going to the masking screen and revealing the dark clouds at the top. Now going to Curves tool and darkening the overall image. In the masking screen, applying the effect on the upper part of the image to make the clouds from the new image more darker. Next for some selective filters. Few here on the hazy foreground to make those parts more dark. One on the ladies dress to pop those reds. Increasing brightness, contrast and saturation. Also increasing the saturation of the reds in the sky. More brightness on the mountain. Darkening the blue parts of the sky.
Now with curves adding some hot contrast. Then with masking applying it on the background. Next for some dodging with the brush tool. On the mountain to make it more brighter. Also some tuning here as the sunlight will be falling on the other side. Reducing the saturation and darkening it to make it look more natural. Next adding some ambient sunlight with curves. Brightening the overall image and adding some yellow tones by dragging the blue curve down. With masking applying around the left part of the sky. I'm gonna add some flying birds now. Choosing this image with few birds. Reducing the size and placing around this bright part of the sky. Changing the mode to darken. Also reducing the opacity a bit. Going to the masking screen, brushing out the outer parts of that image. To darken the low part of the image, I am going to apply vintage filter for some vignetting. And applying it in the masking screen. To make the colors of the foreground match a little more with the background, I am going to go back to the step just before adding the image of the mountain. Here going to the white balance menu, adding some temperature and tint for warmer tones. Also tuning the contrast on that part with curves. We'll apply overall contrast to the image with curves.
adding one more selector filter to remove this haze below. The final result. Thanks for watching.